All right, hey, what's up, guys? Uh, this is just gonna be a quick video on how to get your PBR textures out of Substance Painter and into V-Ray for 3ds Max. So I've just got a little crate here, um, obviously painted by a professional, and I've just got a bunch of materials just to test out, you know, like just to make sure the different surfaces look correct when I'm inside of V-Ray. So I've got a bunch of layers here, whatever. So just go to File, Export Textures. And then down here, if you don't see it, down here at the bottom is a preset here called V-Ray. So we're just gonna hit that, hit export. All right, so we got our textures here. So I'm just gonna copy them over into a new folder. Uh, don't mind all the junk. Yeah. All right, so we've got our textures here and we're ready to import them. So I'm just gonna flip over to 3D Max. All right, so in 3D Max, I've got a little setup here with the same crate. None of these are have materials on it, and I'll just show you really quick what this looks like. All right, so we're just gonna make a new V-Ray material. And import our textures. So I'm just gonna, so we've got six maps that come out of Substance Painter by default. Uh, we're actually not gonna be needing the height map, so really we're dealing with five. And for two of those five maps, we need to do one special step. So for diffuse and reflection, we just import those normally. So I'll just start one by one. So diffuse and reflection. All right, so we're just gonna plug in diffuse and reflection. Now for the rest of them, you have to do one special step. So for example, the gloss, you have to do this. You have to override the gamma to one and it'll open it that way. And I'm just gonna duplicate this and import the others. So we don't need the height. We'll take the IOR. And the normal. All right, and so the way to remember which two maps you wanna import without changing the gamma, diffuse and reflect. So. D and R. So when you get to this step and you're like, I don't remember. So D and R are the two maps that you want to import normally without changing the gamma for. Okay, now it's just a matter of plugging these maps in. Okay, and we're gonna see how that looks. So I'm just gonna apply it to both of these objects. And the reason I have two is just so we have one that's back facing. Okay, so it doesn't look quite right, right? If we refer to our substance painter, that does not look how it should. So to correct that, we just wanna go back to materials. And you wanna make sure that right here, for now, IOR is on so that you can edit it like that. And also make sure that micro facet GTR is on as well. And let's give that another shot. And there you go. So your PBR materials from Substance look just like they do in V-Ray. If we take a look, pretty much the same. Yeah, 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 professional texturing job. And let me make this a little bit bigger so that you can see it. So I'm gonna switch this to production. Let's render this frame out. All right, so in the description, I've got some links to algorithmic documentation for this exact method. Uh, hope you found that useful and thanks for watching.